Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a little short and different. I had initially started making a video for TikTok. Even though it's still in that 916 ratio, I'm gonna post it on here because it's probably interesting for a few people, maybe. <laughs> so I was initiating some skindapsis into tissue culture, and these were a skindapsis jade satin aurea that I have in my grow tent in the basement. It was kind of last minute. I had some extra jars of media that I found and thought I might as well just like give something a bit of a try. So I wasn't really following a protocol or anything like that. So um, take everything that I teach you in this video with a grain of salt because I am not very positive that this is going to work out. Nonetheless, I did say right from the beginning I would be showing both my fails and my successes with tissue culture, so I'm going to be posting this anyway. My first fail in this example, I accidentally dropped this jar so the gel separated and now they're just kind of floating around willy-nilly in there. I would say the explants look okay. I am just not 100% sure on my sterilization protocol, so we will wait and see and check if any contamination pops up. I don't know if it's like the seasonal depression has finally gone away now that like spring is coming, but I'm just feeling more motivation to even be in my lab and like working on plants. I've got a lot planned for initiation of different alocasias that I have growing, so I'm definitely going to be filming that. I feel like alocasia can be pretty tricky because as far as I know you have to use the corm to initiate into tissue culture. Since it is under the soil there's a lot more contaminants and microbes that you have to deal with trying to sterilize before initiating into tissue culture. So I don't know how it's gonna go. We're gonna give it a try. In the meantime I hope you enjoy this video. We're gonna try and tissue culture a plant right from a fresh cutting. Easy way to describe what tissue culturing is, it's essentially cloning a plant. So you take an itty bitty piece of whatever plant that you wanna clone, you put it in a certain solution, there's hormones in it that feed the plant and tell it what you want it to do. And in that little sterile jar, your plant will start to multiply into hundreds or thousands, which I personally think is pretty freaking cool. I have a skindapsis that is not doing its best, so I'm hoping that I can just cut it and clone it and see if I can revive it that way. Also debating trying to clone this too, cause she's just gorgeous. This long sad stick is gonna be our specimen today. I'm going to cut this new growth right here and put it in a solution of 1% bleach. I think I might take a couple cuttings from here too. I'm gonna let these cuttings soak in my solution for, mm, I'm not sure, maybe 15 or 20 minutes and I'll check on it and see how it's looking. Okie dokie, I'm going to take these out onto a stainless steel tray in my still air box. I have a video on my channel showing how I make it. If you are interested, go check it out. One of the cuttings that I took had two nodes, so I'm going to cut those nodes into individuals before placing it into media. The middle nodes still have aerial roots attached, so I'm also going to trim those off as much as I can. Take a cutting of a plant to initiate it into tissue culture. This piece of plant is referred to as an X plant. It's hard to tell on the video, but the ends of the explants have turned white due to the disinfection process, which is completely normal, and I'm just going to trim that off with a scalpel. The node that I'm grabbing right now still has a piece of the petiole attached, so I'm going to remove it and try to clean it up a little bit more. I'll be doing another round of cleaning on these, so once I'm done trimming the plants, I'll be placing the explants into a 75% alcohol bath to soak for about 30 seconds, which you can see I'm doing right now. After it's soaked for a bit, I'm going to move it to sterile water to rinse off any alcohol that's left over because leftover alcohol can potentially burn or kill the plant since it's so harsh on soft tissue. And using sterile water won't introduce any bacteria. So now I'm going to be placing my explants into a sterile soft jelly media that will feed the plants and tell them to multiply. And if all goes well, I will see tons of new shoots forming or I'll see something called a callus, which is a clump of undifferentiated cells. They're not quite a plant just yet. And from that callus, new shoots can start forming, and you can sometimes end up with pretty cool mutations. Getting a sterile explant is the hardest part of tissue culture, so wish me luck. 